waiting on drug test results, they're delayed, and you're frustrated. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how long should it take for you to get a drug test result back and what causes delays. I'm Joe Riley, president of National Drug Screening. Today, I'm talking to you about drug testing and turnaround times. Everybody wants their drug test results back really quick. And what I want to explain today is how quickly they can come back and why often there might be a delay. So first off, it's important to understand that when your employee or your applicant goes for a drug test, they're going to a drug testing center to give their urine specimen. The testing is not performed at the facility where the donor goes to. The urine specimen is collected and then it is shipped off to a federal certified laboratory. It's shipped via lab courier or FedEx and it actually gets to the lab the very next morning. Now that's on business days. So if it's collected on Friday, it doesn't get there till Monday morning. So you have to think about things like transportation, business days, and holidays, which might affect turnaround time. Now, once the laboratory gets the specimen, they typically do the testing the same day, and then they report it to the medical review officer. The medical review officer then does some checks and reviews and a verification, and if negative, immediately reports the drug test result back to the employer. This can all happen in one business day and usually does about 90% of the time. But sometimes at the laboratory, the specimen is testing non-negative and must go through another round of testing called confirmation testing to be absolutely sure that a specimen might be positive or in fact negative. This confirmation testing usually takes another day to get it completed. So then that result goes to the medical review officer and if negative, can be reported immediately. However, if positive, the MRO calls the donor who gave the specimen and discusses that positive drug test result with the donor. You see, there may be a medical explanation like a legitimate prescribed medication. But the MRO has to verify this, and in order to do so, they first must talk to the applicant or employee. If the applicant or employee isn't calling the MRO back after the first phone call, there's going to be a delay. Once in a great while also, the laboratory has some delays because their testing is not giving them a scientifically supportable negative or positive result. So they run the testing process often several times so that they're absolutely positive that the result that they provide is either negative or positive. So if you have a good laboratory and you have a good MRO who is electronically connected to the laboratory, and you always wanna ask that because then the information is flowing faster and more accurately. About 90% of the time, you should be getting back results in one business day, maybe two business days. Remember, holidays don't count. And if there are transportation or weather issues, that could also delay the result. The most important thing is that you are a professional third-party administrator managing your drug test, one point of contact, and if there is a delay, your professional third-party administrator or TPA can find out why and help move along that result. Now, it's not magic. If the test specimen is still in testing at the laboratory, there's no quick way to move it along. It has to get through the process. But most importantly, again, as I mentioned, look at your vendor, your drug testing provider. If you're not getting 
90% of your results back in one to two business days, you might need a new vendor. We have lots of great information about drug testing on our website at www.nationaldrugscreening.com. We have a great blog area, check it out for lots of great information and go to YouTube for more videos like this. Always remember your best source for drug testing information is www.nationaldrugscreening.com.